Hi Huskies, happy Bridge Week, and welcome to the final episode of News Scene. Here are some of this week's top stories. As you all know, we are in the midst of AP testing. Here is an AP exam reminder from Leah. Hey Huskies, it's Leah Garrett here to tell you that on May 10th, Ms. Delgado sent an email to all students taking AP exams. This email has information about your exam time, date, format, and room assignment. Be sure to check your email to get this information. Thanks, Leah, and good luck everybody on your AP exams. Up next, we have some exciting news. Did you know that Lake Theater is reopening? Here's some more information. Oak Park's very own Lake Theater was one of many local businesses to close during the pandemic. Everything stood still, frozen in time. It has now been a little over a year, and the theater is finally ready to open again. Douglas Green, I'm the general manager here at the Lake Theater in, in uh, Oak Park. We have a program in place called a Cinema Safe program, and uh, mask, you know, general cleaning, our HVAC unit where we use a different type of filter, so it produces, you know, a different um, filtration. For, for each, uh, each room in the theater. This theater has brought the town together and everyone is excited to get back to it. Many agree that the theater brings a different experience than viewing a movie at home and all consistently describe the differences. I actually really prefer the experience of watching a movie with, a, with an audience audience of people that I don't necessarily know and just having that collective you know, group experience. Like getting popcorn and nachos and like being able to sit with your friends like that's something that you kind of don't get to have yeah. at home even if you're hanging out with your friends like right. the movie theater it's popcorn the it's just yeah, it's not exactly. the same experience so there you have it lake theater has clearly had a big impact on this community and it doesn't appear that its impact will end anytime soon with the theater open it kind of i don't know it feels more welcome a little bit more return to normal say we're focusing on you know reopening the theater uh, we want it to be normal as possible for each guest. And what I mean by normal is the movie itself, the sound, the crunchy you know, popcorn, the butter, you know, just like it was before. The, the Lake Theater is the anchor of downtown Oak Park, really. I mean, um, we literally opened here because the Lake Theater <laughs> is right there. I'm actually very excited that the theater is reopening. I, I love this theater. I love that it's still part of this community, and I think it's, it's great that it's back open. I can't wait to go to theaters again. Speaking of downtown Oak Park, recently Emma was able to try the new restaurant Victory Italian. Here she is to tell us more about it. Hi guys, my name's Emma and I'm here to tell you about Victory Italian. Victory Italian is a classy Italian restaurant on Oak Park's Marion Street. Menu items range from chicken parmesan to golden Cadillac, which is a dessert made with vanilla gelato. Hours are from four to 10 Monday through Thursday and are four to 11 on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. It is rated 4.5 out of five stars and is quickly becoming an Oak Park favorite. That sounds great. I'll have to check it out. Next up, we have some information regarding Oak Park and River Forest's very own chapter of Clean Up, Give Back. Hi, my name is Audrey. I'm a junior and I'm a co-communications director for Clean Up, Give Back, Oak Park and River Forest. Uh, hi, my name is Libby Bollinger. I'm a junior and I'm the vice president of the Clean Up, uh, Give Back, Oak Park chapter. Libby and I are on the board of Clean Up, Give Back, Oak Park and River Forest, which is a local chapter of the organization Clean Up, Give Back. Um, our chapter, we host cleanups, volunteer cleanups and stuff. We've done some forest preserves and we're just, you know, working to uh, build a community while uh, helping the environment. So Recycle Beyond the Bag is a plastic upcycling initiative where we've asked members of the community to donate their plastic bags. And our original goal was to collect 500 pounds. And if we collected that 500 pounds, then we would get a park bench that would be donated to the community. So we've already surpassed that goal and we've collected over like 1,000 pounds of plastic. But we all, like one of our main goals in doing this was to sort of bring the community together in a way that helps the environment. 
because we've noticed a lot of like litter and pollution around the community lately and we really want to find a way to help that. And then as for the OPRF uh, portion of the initiative, me and Audrey re really wanted to make it like more accessible to younger people because we really wanted to involve more younger people in the environment. Recycle Beyond Bags is an initiative that our chapter, along with um, the Interfaith Green Network and Awesome People's Action Center, started in about March. Basically, um, we're collecting plastic bags that can't be recycled, like film type stuff, that gets um, upcycled into a park bench. You need 500 pounds for a park bench, and um, we've actually exceeded a thousand since we started the initiative, which is pretty cool. Um, so I think that our impact on the community will be, I think one part of it is bringing more people together and sort of uniting them under like one cause of trying to help everyone. And I also think that another impact will be taking a lot of um, potential plastic out of uh, landfills that would otherwise like end up harming the environment because it can't be recycled. So hopefully that our initiative will kind of at least make a small difference in that aspect of it. Um, Libby and I wanted to involve the school, make the initiative more accessible, and also um, involve youth because that's sort of a central value of our chapter. So we partnered with Enviro Club to put a bin, a collection bin, in the Student Activity Center. So our goal, funnily enough, it was just to reach 500 pounds. We thought it was totally crazy. Uh, we didn't think we'd be able to hit it in the six month period that uh, you need to do the initiative, but um, we've far exceeded that goal in less than half the time, which is crazy. Um, another goal is really just helping the environment where um, our entire chapter is super passionate about it. And we thought it was a great way to get the community involved in making change. I think, honestly, it's just a great way to get the film plastic out of landfills because we've people have just been sort of collecting their plastic and instead of throwing it away, it's going to a good cause. So we should care about the issues that are facing us right now with the environment because even like little bits of like litter, it all adds up and it all starts to hurt the environment and then it just spreads and it can really, it can damage communities, it damages ecosystems and it just hurts everyone and everything so we just need to take action you at home can help the initiative by collecting your plastic and bringing it to any of the drop-off locations there's one at the oak park temple there's one at the garfield conservatory and there's one in the oprf student activity center uh don't forget our bin is in the student activity center and it'll be there until the end of the school year uh, donate any non-recyclable plastic, any films like bags, and help the environment. Let's get another bench. That sounds amazing. Thank you all so much for the hard work you've done to better our community and environment. Next, we have Owen to say thank you to our teachers and highlight some of the less than ideal circumstances they've had to deal with this school year. Okay, so um, does anybody have any... Uh responses to that passage. Uh, Nathan, I see your hand up. Nathan, I think, um, I think you're in a... Nathan. Hey, Nathan. Hey. Okay, class, um, any questions? Imagine a place that's so silent you can hear your heart beating and your lungs filling with air. It might sound like science fiction, but it's actually a place here on Earth recognized by the folks at Guinness as the quietest place on Earth. NBC's Gary Sanders took a trip inside. Um, any at all? The ear is both a loudspeaker and a microphone, and when it's deprived of sound, it produces its own. It creates its own oral hallucinations. <laughs> As if the blind or aged had washed me clean, rid me of hope for the first time in that night alive with signs and, um, with signs and stars. I open myself to to the gentle indifference of the to the 
Finding it's Someone ha someone has their mic on? Someone can someone uh Jack? Is that Jack? Can you please mute yourself please? You have um music going on in the background. Jack That'll be it for today then. Uh so remember quiz next Tuesday. Check the pair deck answers over the weekend. Um and everyone have a great day. Bye, Miss Johnson. Have a nice day. Bye, Steven. Have a good day. Finally, we have a short recap showcasing what the last few months of hybrid learning has been like for students. Incredible. Over a month left of school and we're back to in-person attendance. How could I possibly be expected to stay at home on a day like this? This is my ninth in-person day this semester, and it's getting pretty tough remembering all the steps to prepare. If I go for 10, I'm going to have to be sure I get everything right. The steps for in-person attendance are to fill out the daily check-in on Skyward, so that your clear check is sent to your student email. Some people will tell you just to screenshot an old clear check and use it, but if it has the wrong date, you'll be sent home. For the spit test, use a straw to fill the vial and wipe it with an antibacterial wipe. Label it, seal the envelope, and you're good to go. It's a little weird and gross, but then again, so is coronavirus. Be sure to get your spit test in by 1 p.m. School starts at 8, so if you're not up and moving, you're going to miss it. And that's all for today, Huskies. Have an amazing summer, and we'll see you next year. Bye.